Okay guys, let's have a closer look on this Harrier test frame. Um, as you can see, this is the complete new tail section. Uh, as you can see, this is provided by a servo, controlled by a servo. I've put a 50 millimeter EDF, EDF in the center. I call it a compressor. Uh, with divided tubes going to the, to the valves in the wings. They should provide me a stable hover control. Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Joel and I'm trying to build the Harrier F35 model VTOL and scale. Um, in this video I want to give you guys a little update about my builds. Um, progress is a little bit slow, but um, I try to focus now on one product at the same time. So to start with, we got the F-35. <laughs> oh, nice. We managed to make a stable forward flight. We also managed to make a stable hover. Uh, we got also the, for, uh, the, the working uh, doors. And uh, we tested in Kestrel the 3 BSM uh, transition flight. So all three separate projects will fit in one F-35 project. But I will tell you later more about this F-35 project. Also, in the, on this channel we got a lot of Harrier fans, so it's also time to build uh, the Harrier uh, or develop the Harrier more further for the future flying. So, and therefore I needed to go back to basics because last year I crashed the, the Harrier and um, yeah, I found a lot of issues what I have to solve. To start with, we have to build a complete new hover test frame. And for the guys who are watching clearly, this is going to be the new hover test frame. Um, it's very important to make also this model's scale. Uh, in my first uh, model of the Harrier, uh, there is a, a little EDF 50 millimeter of FASA installed in the front section uh, and 50 millimeter, millimeter EDF in the back section. Um, both are responsible for thrust differential for the pitch control. So, it's not that very skill. It's it's work. It's working good actually. But it's, we got also the, the the back nozzle, which provides the draw control. Now with, with this new test frame, we're going to test the new draw system, because the Harrier has um, an valve system in the tail. Uh, pitch and jaw is provided of thrust out of the tail section and what I'm going to try to do is to make a big valve with pitch and jaw in that system. And for that we need to build and test this of course again in this Harrier test frame. So let's proceed with this project. A short update for the F-35. Like I said we got the flying forward model. This one stays on the ground because it got an emotional band. Uh, it's number one uh, prototype and I will keep it uh, in one piece. So I will build a new one. Uh, we got uh, the Castro over there. We have the full working 3BSM system and uh, the KK2 board is fully um, uh, configured for transition flights. And I got now over 30 flights now. So quite happy with that result. Over here we got the new F-35 model. As you can see, the new FASA EDFs arrived. They are looking quite stunning. Back EDF 1580 kV, front EDF 1500 kV. Uh, I use a higher kV motor for the back section because the 3 bsm has to work uh, harder during transition. As you can see, all the bulkheads are made it out of and laser cut out of foam board. And did you guys should see this one already? This is the new 3 BSM provided with ball bearings. Looks quite amazing. Okay, guys, for today this is a short update. Um, I'm quite happy to tell you that we reached almost 37,000 subscribers. And the last few days we had almost a half a million of views. So thank you for that, thank you for supporting. Um, but I also found out that most of you aren't subscribed to our channel. Only 5% of our YouTubers are subscribed. So please, you will really help me out by subscribing to our YouTube channel and so we can pro proceed and continue making this kind of content. Okay guys, thank you and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye bye.